7,500, sea class 22,000, temperature 182.1, altimeter 2, 9 and 5. Head to the north, couple miles, and turn back to the west, and then I will stay south of uh, Coors Field and approach the north. Come back up here, let's complete the monitor. 35 right here, it's complete. Alright, we'll taxi down there. Get okay. past this up. Okay. Yeah, from there, you're gonna All do right. a standing or running. Stand there. The 29 Super Fortress was a technology marvel. It was the first all-electric aircraft. It was the first pressurized high-altitude bomber. So it really was able to carry a, a lot of payload. We didn't have anything that could reach the mainland of Japan. The B-29 delivered that ability to do so. We talk about the technology, about the science and technology, engineering and mathematics that go along with designing airplanes. And so uh, the B-29 special for us, being from Wichita, Wichita being the air capital of the world, we built 1,644 of these aircraft in Wichita, Kansas during World War II. Most of that work was done by women, Rosie the Riveters, and we're just honored to tell their stories. To have this airplane, this is a Wichita built airplane restored by a group of heroes and volunteers that worked 16 years, 450,000 volunteer hours to put the airplane back together from 2000 to 2016 and it's a 100% volunteer organization. And without those volunteers, without those heroes that work to rescue and restore Doc, we couldn't carry on the legacy that we do today. Our mission is to tell the stories of the greatest generation. That legacy, make sure their legacy carries on for generations to come. And that is letting people get up close and personal with a B-29, see it, feel it, hug it, crawl through it, make sure that they understand what it may have been like for our men and women wartime heroes to have served in these airplanes. Also to tell the story of the women who left the homes and went to work in the factories across the United States, not just to build airplanes, but to build tanks and munitions and other wartime deliverables. That's really our core mission, is to honor those men and women who fought for freedom at home and abroad, both during World War II, the greatest generation, and the ones who continue to do the same worldwide today. Anyone can, can look at an airplane flying by. We've all seen airplanes flying, but it's a unique experience to be able to crawl inside of a B-29, one of only two that are still flying today, and be able to sit in the seats and look inside and feel the feels and smell the smells that our nation's heroes have done. And so that's what we do across the country. The month of May will include stops here in Denver. From Denver, we'll go over to Wendover, uh, which is an old B-29 uh, base that the Enola Gay crew trained in. And then we'll go over to Fairchild Air Force Base up in Spokane, Washington. From there, we'll go to Seattle, Washington, the Museum of Flight for a week. And then we'll make our way back towards Wichita. We'll come south, go to Tahoe, and then Phoenix, and then back to Wichita for maintenance and our crew to go home and hang out just a bit. And then we'll do it all over again in June and July. We were always looking for volunteers, pilots, and crew members. You can check up on our website, b29doc.com. There's a get involved in a volunteer section. Always looking for people on the road to help out. We're just very blessed to be able to have the team and the aircraft to be able to go tell these stories. We've got to teach history. We've got to teach the next generation about the things that we've learned. And if we don't, um, you know, we'll be in trouble again. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor.